invitation that every one of us are building upon. Sir, Dr. Peter Odele, and your dear wife, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of our dear state, distinguished Senator John Mbata and Senator Lee, members of the House of Representatives that are here, members of the State Executive Council, His Majesty's Highnesses, let me personally recognize the Oba of Oberland, who is the host traditional ruler of this domain that uh, we are being invited to honor what I tag a return to the community, what community has done for us. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen that are here, to honor this special event, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. It is a honor to be part of this historic event. Historic because Sir Dr. Peter Odeli and his family are no longer sitting in government, like I am. He's a private man who has returned what God has done for him, the favor God has shown in his life, to say, let me take my resources, not government resources, build a facility that I want to dedicate to God and the people of Ndani. It is the most special and dedicated thing anyone who claims that he loves his community, who loves God, will do. So I'm happy to identify this program. It's important to us because our target area as government has been healthcare, education, and empowerment in form of agriculture and other things. In the health system today, in River State, the only areas where we can say we have facilities to support health services is the tertiary health care, the BMH that is being controlled by the state, the UPTH that is of the federal government. Other areas is the primary health care. When we met the primary health care, the situation was bad. But I'm happy that the executive secretary said here today that on assumption of office, that what we have recorded has given hope to our people. We are not going to stop in improving that state every day by the special grace of God. We have gone further to improve our health care services by promising our people, not just promising, but ensuring that we we'll see it through, that the zonal hospitals 
we must put them back to function. We have invited all the contractors, awarded those jobs. We have asked them to return back to site so that those facilities must function to provide services to our dear people. Let me make it very clear to everyone. It is not about the roads. It is not about the bridges. What is important is the life of our people. The life of our people. We must protect the life of our people. We will end in protecting just life. We will ensure that we provide education for our people. It is the basic thing. If we don't have quality education, affordable health care, what are we talking about? Is it the uh, Nama that is going to pass through the roads? They are human beings. So humans are the most important aspect that we, as a government, will focus. And by the special grace of God, we are doing it. I want to ask this community, the LGA, the healthcare, the primary healthcare, to own this facility. Ensure that you defend it, you protect it. You, you use it for the purposes of its establishment. You shouldn't leave it as government thing for it to rot. It should be something that you should be proud of, that your own son built it and dedicated it to the service of humanity. So I want to urge you, own it. We on our part as government will do everything within our power to make sure that the needed manpower and facility that is required to make it function, we will support and make sure that we, we deliver it to it. The secretary mentioned about uh, employment. Secretary, when we came on board, you know, the number of doctors that was allocated to you people were 200. But I've given you 1,000 medical doctors, both that of the primary health care, uh, health management board, and the uh, University Teaching Hospital. Is it not enough for you to clap well for me? <laughs> so it's to tell you that we know the importance of health care to our society. I want to thank every one of you. We will continue to stand on the path of right. We will defend the dignity and the integrity of the rivers people. We will not be intimidated. We will continue to do those things that are right that will make you proud. We are not going back on it. By the special grace of God, what they turned, they thought it was going to be evil. God turned it to good. I will not end by not saying this. I'm surprised that I saw the local government chairman of Obaibema here. I'm really surprised. Because I know that for a very long time now, any event that has to do with the state government or the local government chairman has, it where, don't participate. I hope when you leave here, they are not going to sack you. Because I know you are not loyal to me now, so I don't know to sack you. <laughs> or when you leave here, you will grant another press interview that it was not you, that it was your shadow. But let me say it here. Every one of you who think you are disrespecting me, you already dug your pit. You will fall inside it. That is the truth. Our minds are very open. We do not wish anybody bad. But we expect you to do and know what is right. For those of you who have chosen to take the path that you think is that way, that leads to their salvation, safe journey. But let me remind you. You see, 
the river, or you call what you call stream. One theory about it is this: when it flows, it flows in a way or directions that has less resistance. You know what I mean? Less resistance. It doesn't go to where there is blockage. It goes to where voila, it flow, and that becomes what you call the turning, the channel of a river or a sea. Simnala Fubara and his team will continue to take that course that God has given us. We will flow in a direction that your resistance look, it doesn't matter to us. We will take the course where one way or the other we will get to our destination. And we will make our people proud. They say we are clueless. If providing quality education for our people is being clueless, I agree with them, I accept it. They say we are clueless. If providing quality health care services to our dear people means being clueless, we agree with them. It's the truth. They say we are clueless. If targeting critical projects, like this road that we are just awarded, that they've started, Elele, Ebeda, Amok Road, if they say it's being clueless, we agree with them. But we will not go and do road to our farm. We will not go and do road because we want to please somebody politically. No. We will do those things that our people, everyone will benefit from. If that one means being clueless. If I change my name to Mr. Clueless. But I thank God whatever it is they think or they imagine whatever we are doing, the few we have touched, everyone can attest to it, that there are critical projects consign aspects of the well-being of our people. We made a promise to Mr. President to support him, and we'll continue to support him. How do we support him? Ensuring that our people, their welfare are cared for. Ensuring that our people those critical things that will make them happy. In this harsh situation, we embattle them. Even if we cannot solve all the problems, but we'll go as much as we can to mitigate those things. That is the only way to support Mr. President. We're doing it in the housing. We're doing it now in health services. That is the support. Support is not to carry for these men with plain clothes to come and intimidate people. We will not support Mr. President in that form. We will not record anything that will cut short the life of anybody in this state. We will make this state, that society that everyone bears for, egalitarian society, where you are free to express yourself, move about, criticize me, objectively, not with, because of your bitters. Maybe your criticism will help me give me a focus. That is the society that I want. And that is the society we want to build. Let me thank this wonderful family. Our leader, this is the best thing you have done, I can tell you. It is the best because you are doing it when you are not in office. The ones I'm doing now, take note, it's not my own, it's public fund, though. not I, it's public fund. This one we are commissioning today is I. I'm even surprised I didn't use, he didn't use the word I. So I dash you the word, take an I. Huh? The road we are building, 
It is not I. It is public fund. It is we. So when I say I am happy to identify with this, this one is what we call the I project. So I'm happy to be part of this I project. I project for the family of the old deliz. They've written their name in the sound of history. Nobody will forget them. You know what it means. Let me even share this story with you. When I was about, uh, when, let's say, they gave me the ticket, my place, unfortunately, my, the king of my place is here. The general hospital of Popo was abandoned. Social media was always attacking me. They want to be governor. You don't have healthcare service in your place. Little case, they take to Ekorabase. Uh, Is it not shameful? Do you know what I did? I had to personally, with the help of friends, put that hospital in place. No, 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 no. What, what I want is, is, is to tell you when you want to do things, the importance of medical services. It was with the help of friends, we had to put that general hospital together and it started functioning. And I tell you, we saved a lot of lives. There is a, a royal father here. I don't want to mention his name. He lost his son because there wasn't any functional health care service in his place. I don't want to mention his name. He's here. He's here in our midst. He lost his son. So people don't know the importance of health services. It's not an issue of you go and build something, you call people to come and commission, you dance, and it's not working. That is not, that is not part of our... It's not, it's not our agreement with rivers people. Our agreement with rivers people is anyone that will want to participate will ensure that it functions and it works well. And that is leadership. That is having consign of the people. So let me end it there. I'm happy to identify with this I project. I want the Indone people, the Obwebema people, to own this project, defend it, care for it. It is only when you care for this, more will come. People will be encouraged to come and invest in your place. It is when support this and protect it, people will also come. Other rich men here will say, look, there is need for us to do this and do that for our people, for their well-being. So I want to thank you for accepting to protect it. For we as a government, like I said earlier, whatever is required to make it function effectively, we will do that and provide for you. Let me on this note thank every one of you, more especially the, my entourage, the majesties, highnesses that has come with us from Portacot to be part of this history. I want to thank every one of you. God will continue to bless you for being part of a positive history of the Indone people. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.